Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 14th of July, 2011. 46 years ago this day, we received the first pictures of another world. So today's trivia question is, which planet is this a picture of, and which spacecraft took these rather blurred pictures? When we look at the flare situation from the GOES X-ray sensor, we see that the sun is at it again. Yesterday it produced a C flare, today it's gone quiet again, which is a string of small B flares. You can probably understand now why half of solar physicists are batty, and the other half think that they are the same ones. If we look at the sunspotted situation, we can see why the sun has gone quiet. We lost three regions overnight, regions 1247, 1249 and 1245. They all decayed away to nothing. A new region has cropped up just to the east of region 1245, and that's been numbered region 1253. Region 1250 is hanging in there, but it looks as though it's decayed a little bit. Re region 1251 is a single large spot. They did break down and label a second region in that vicinity, as I was advocating yesterday, 1252, but I still think there's a third region there, which they haven't numbered as yet. And a modest new region is coming over the southeast limb, which should be numbered tomorrow. In the sunspot and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument, you can see the general decay in these regions, particularly look at region 1250 near disk center. Watch the decay of the trailing part of the region. You can see the same effect in the magnetic movies with these regions weakening rapidly. The AIA data today is basically useless because the last couple of days they've been doing calibration runs and you'll see there's lots of missing data and the sun is jumping around all over the place. So I'll play the movies anyway for your enjoyment, but there's very little you can tell from them because they're moving around so much. You can see at the end of the coronal sequences, however, the region coming over the southeast limb, but it is fairly modest, so uh, I'm not expecting a great deal from it. Just to make life more complicated, Soho is having software problems, so we hope that that situation will be restored fairly soon. But there doesn't seem to be a great deal going on from the coronal mass ejection point of view. Ace tells us about the solar wind. We can see the temperatures remain relatively constant in the green plot. However, the speed, yellow, has dropped significantly over the last 24 hours and the density remains low. We're slowly exiting from the high speed wind stream at the moment. No sign of that coronal mass ejection that uh, NOAA was forecasting yesterday. NOAA 15 data imaged the auroral zones and we can see they're looking fairly agitated today. However, the KP index has been varying between 1 and 3, which is rated as quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background has fallen to B1, the sunspot number has risen to 90, the radio sun intensity is at 95 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has eased off a bit to 490 kilometers per second, but still at very low densities, less than 1 proton per cubic centimeter, and geospace conditions are considered quiet. I see little reason to adjust my forecast from yesterday, with this chance of sea flares being poor and the chance of MRX flares being very remote indeed. Sunspot numbers should go lower. There's a good chance of coronal mass ejections. Those filaments that I was interested in yesterday are still there and still looking fairly prominent. The solar wind speed should continue to ease off and the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next few days is quite remote. In the longer term, there's nothing due to rotate over the east limb, at least for four or five days. So we're going to have to again rely on either growth in these existing regions or the emergence of new regions on the visible disk to provide any new activity. The answer to your trivia question was the planet is Mars and the spacecraft that took those images was Mariner 4. If you want more information on what's going on on the sun today, go to some of the links that I've listed in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel. They're all listed there along with some other videos you might find fun to watch. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.